Welcome back. This lady and I, you and I have done the National Restaurant Show three years in a row. Yes, we have. All wow, right. what an amazing experience. It well, always is. It's, it's one of the funnest things of the year. Absolutely. Look forward to it every year. No doubt. Okay, yeah. as much as we learn about new things at the restaurant show, yes. there are some things we should never change. That's right. And that's the desserts at Nearly Famous. Absolutely. We have some really good stuff that we... Uh, make in house like lemon bars and pecan bars, brownies and pecan pie. It's the perfect combination. But of course, we have other desserts that we have brought in to the restaurant, and some of those I sampled at the show, and I'm getting some things to try. So you'll be seeing some different things coming up pretty soon. Yeah, that's yeah. one thing that you do learn about yeah. things that you uh, you say, well, here's something that I might introduce to my, yes. my customers. But yes. first of all, talk about these, because these are house-made. Your yes. sister, Anita. Yes, she does. You see her in the restaurant all the time. She makes all of these. And you know what yes. I love about the lemon and pecan bars particularly? Not only are they delicious, they're the perfect little bite. They are. They're the perfect size. We uh, cut them by hand, but you've got a homemade shortbread crust and then pecan pie filling on top. It's to die for. It really. is to die and for. And it is. It's the perfect bite, and it's not overly sweet. It's wonderful. But if you want something bigger, yeah. you have things like a tiramisu. I People do. People just lose their mind over. Yes, and I have cakes and cheesecakes. And then, of course, we have a cookie each week. That, yeah, the cookie of the week, right? Yeah, cookie of the week. It varies, but you'll have to come in and try it. It's all so it very, is good. very good. Yeah. Um, another thing that we talked about that you learned at the National Restaurant Show is you're, you're, you said you're paying a little bit more attention to produce. Absolutely. What do you mean by that? Well, we did a little cocktail sampling, of course, mm -hmm. and uh, one of the things that uh, Tony, that we've seen each year. Yeah, the modern that, mixologist, Tony yes. Abuganum, does this whole thing oh, at gosh. the bar show every year. It's incredible. Year. Yeah. Uh, this was so simple, and I'm not a vodka soda drinker, but I am now because of what he taught us at the show. And it, it's simple. Uh, a barrel glass versus a highball glass. Okay, so two and glasses. Two but glasses. It, it depends on... Uh, which glass you serve your drink in yes. can taste completely different. Absolutely, and it does. This will water your um, drink down. Uh, you need to have proper ice, but also fresh lime, uh, fresh produce. Cut it fresh. Keep it fresh. Yeah. Don't put a nasty old... <laughs> piece of lime on there. Treat yourself. Come Treat, on. Come on. Yeah. Come now, on. if you're in a restaurant, you would expect that. But even if you're at home, your drink is going to be better. But this one will let more room temperature in. Yes. So it can melt your ice quicker. And this will keep your soda or any effervescent item that you put in here, it'll keep it bubbly longer because it's not dissipating like this. And it was the simplest thing I'd ever... I didn't even dawn on me yeah. that something this simple makes so much sense. Well, it really can. And they also said when you put your ice, and they advocate using larger pieces of ice because yes. the smaller pieces will melt quickly, water yes. down the drink. So yes. put the ice in, stir chill, it around, yeah, and chill, chill the glass. Chill the glass. Then put your alcohol and your mixer in, which... Duh. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, you don't think, think about that. No, you don't. If and you're at home and you're mixing yeah. for friends, you know, this is a little tidbit that you can take home and make better yes. drinks for yourself and for your friends. Absolutely. So. Why not have a cocktail party and just do it up? Yeah, it makes a difference. It really it does. Huge, huge difference. What are your other takeaways from the show this year? Oh, my gosh. Uh, let's see. We had, of course, amazing desserts. We had some wonderful, uh, oh gosh, what were those? That uh, smoked fishes. Those are always mm -hmm. so good. And then uh, some very unusual infused sake uh, out of a can with uh, these fruit flavors that were incredible. Yeah, some of the flavors that you get are things that you never thought of. The smoked flavor. I mean, people are smoking ice. Yes. They're smoking salmon. They're smoking the scallops were delicious. They and that, smoke maple syrup, too. Oh, well, <laughs> sugar bottles, maple syrup is my jam. Yeah. I have a, a, a dessert idea for you, by the way. I don't know if I've told you. I'll tell you during the break. Okay, gotcha. It has to do with the smoked maple syrup. It's great stuff. Anyway, okay. Nancy from Nearly Famous. Thank you, Joy. Let's do it all again yes. next year. More of the restaurant show when we come right back.